Hi guys, I'm Riaz and welcome to another episode of Fishing with Friends. In fact, it's actually our first episode. So I should remove the another. What do you think is it? I should remove the another, okay? Um, we're on our way to Orniston. Um, as you can see, this light is very bright in my eyes. <laughs> so I'm trying my best to, to focus on what I want to say rather than, than this, the blinding light in front of me. Um, so we're going to go to Orniston now. We stopped at our engine. One stop, the f uh, famous uh, engine on the N2, and this is the beginning leg of our journey. We've got our bait sorted, got some bloodworm, moonshine, prune, um, uh, sardine. What am I missing? Anything? That's it. So we'll be joining from here. I hope you guys enjoy it. You'll be seeing more of the trip as we go along. Um, how the our people will tell us wherever we meet them that we're going fishing. They tell us stay Valena. Keep it locked. <laughs> Good morning all. Um, we've arrived at Arniston. Not that we took that many hours to arrive here. We got here around, what time was it? Was 10. About 10 mm. uh, the evening and decided to take a nap. Imran, the cameraman, decided to take a hoi. Um, he caught three sky so I can officially call him the, <laughs> the, what, the sky? <laughs> Skamai, the sky fisherman. <laughs> um, so that wasn't too good. Um, we were at Cassis by. So we're going to get uh, ready and we're going to make our way off to Didrat. We're not involved. We're all about the fun, the enjoyment. Um, I think most of the people here are very serious. Um, we're not like that, man. We, you know, we just like to see the stick bend. We don't need prizes for that. But uh, we'll keep you tuned uh, uh, in on any action that we we may uh, uh, get up to. For now, it's just about prepping, you know, N the getting to the bathroom, doing our thing, making the body, you know, lighter. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then from here, uh, have a meal and we're going to hit the road. It's about a 5.5 kilometer uh, trek to the Drat and um, it's going to be epic, epic. So, what we're doing now is we're trying to get shelter from the wind, which is blowing from land to sea. We got our little kitchen net sort out here. We've got uh, some Vienna's smochi. Okay, this is keeping it real. You know, we're not here for a buffet and uh, uh, five star Michelin meals here. We are roughing it out. Um, so, we're just waiting for that to warm up quickly. Everything of me is freezing right now. All of us, we're sitting here, we're absolutely freezing. I know that the sun looks like it's out and it's shining, but it's extremely, extremely cold. Um, like, if my nipples could speak, I would tell you a story. So, this is the uh, next leg. Uh, we're just gonna have a meal and we're gonna eat the, the long road in order to get to our fishing spot. Catch you soon. So, we're making the journey finally. You've been with us so far from the one stop right through to Arniston when we arrived making our food we're gonna hit the road now very treacherous road if I might say all the way I don't know if you can see it there but like if you can look that far as far as you can see we're gonna walk but further <laughs> so it's gonna be going for a while um, we need to conserve our energies so I'm not going to talk too much, I'll let you know when we're there. The taste of sweet lime. <laughs> we made it, finally, at the draft. Um, it's going to be a situation of trying to fish in this wind. I don't know if you can hear me because it's really, really windy. Um, there the box almost fell now, so we're going to try see what it's worth. If we can get something. Um, the wind is blowing quite strong. I think I said it already. <laughs> but uh, we're going to try to make the most of it. We got some prony. Okay, this is not what it usually looks like, but I had a few bites early on on the reef. So hopefully next time 
I'm, I'm checking in we'll be having a fish to show you hopefully if not I'll be sad but wait for the late for <laughs> late for me to be sad okay see you guys soon it's low tide now it's pushing at the moment he's busy crossing the water with smash sardine oh fuss Okay, no seagulls in the background won't attack him. Um, I, oh no, it's, it's quite comical. But this is the life of everyday fishermen. You know, we go out there, we try our best, we send people out, we go, we go throw back for us. You know, not that we enjoy slavery or anything like that. Um, yep, and there they go with our look us. <laughs> Off they go. Off in the water as well. Um, but we will at least get a clean white box back. For what it's worth. Okay, we'll check in again. <laughs>